Hello, my name is Anouk and it's time for a new DEX from the Graphic Design School. In this DEX we're going to use Adobe Photoshop and you will create your own mockup by using the stamp tool, the pen tool and creating a clipping mask. Now there's many free and paid mockups available on the web, but what if you bump into this perfect photo to showcase your work? In that case it's really great if you know how to turn that photo into a mockup picture for your designs. For your project you will need a photo that you want to use for your mock-up and the design that you want to show. And for my example I will use the Java Love logo and that's a brand name that some of you will know very well from one of the assignments at the Graphic Design School. Before you start make sure you've read the brief so you know the design goals, the constraints and the allocated time. And the brief contains an exercise for three different levels of design experience, so pick the level that fits you. Okay, let's go! So I have opened Adobe Photoshop CC uh, and there's a photo that I want to use and that's this one, the photo with a woman holding a coffee cup. Um, if, you have open, if you opened it before you can open it directly from here but if you haven't you can just open it by going to Finder, find the photo that you want to use and then you can drag that photo on top of your Photoshop icon and it also opens. So here we are. And I want to use this cup and get my own logo in there. So the first thing I need to do is to clean up this cup and uh, make sure this logo disappears. Uh, that's not that difficult. Um, you can do that over here on your left side with the clone stamp tool. And the shortcut is S. Now I see there's already a copy opened here, uh, but let's imagine normally that wouldn't happen. So normally you've got the background here, which is locked, uh, and it's always good to keep the original locked and make a copy to work on. You can do that by dragging it on top of the new little icon here, the new layer icon. And there we go. And we're going to work on this one. Now what you need to do is get rid of this logo. And it's good to zoom in a little bit. Click on the clone stamp tool. Or press S. And now we want to use the colors over here to make this bit disappear. And uh, we also want to make sure that this uh, line that you see here due to the light, that you keep that to make it realistic, make it look realistic. So what we're going to do, you press ALT, you see that it's now changed, click on your mouse, and now it's going to use the color you used here. When you move your mouse over the logo, you can see what color it will become. Now there's one other thing you need to check, um, and that's the size of the, the, the stamp. And you can do that on above here. You can play with the size. So for example, I would make it big. You can see the circle becomes much bigger, which will be too big to work on this little cup. But sometimes it's useful to make it really big. And also the hardness you can play with. So you can see then that it's, if you put the hardness on 100%, it will be very hard, the change. And you can also lower that a little bit. I'm just gonna put it on 60. And this one I'm going to put, I'm just going to check, I think 30 will be great. Okay, so that's all good. Now we can start. Um, okay, I'm going to just start here and I want to make sure that this lighter area, due to the light, we're going to copy on top of this area. So I'm just going to go really close to where this first bit is. Press Alt. Click on the mouse and then click on the area that you want to get rid of. Press Alt, click. Okay. Press Alt. I'm going to use a color here. Click. And you can already see the logo is disappearing. Alt, click and then click over the area that you want to get rid of. Now here, hold. Just 
can use a color here. And this is how you can get rid of the whole logo. So here you will use another color. It's going to show you. Click. So you won't need that lighter white due to the light. Here there's not that reflection. And this is what you're going to do to the whole cup. Well, I think that's pretty clear, so I will just quickly finish this one up and I'll be back. Yes, I'm back and I have cleaned up the whole cup so you see there's no longer another logo there and we can start preparing the file for our own logo. Now first we need to create um, an area in here where we want to place our own logo and because of these fingers and I, I want to make sure that um, the logo will disappear behind these fingers, we have to create um, a little shape uh, and we're going to do that by using the pen tool. Uh, the pen tool you'll find over here, here it is, the little uh, nib icon, this is the pen tool and the shortcut is P. So press on the pen tool and we're going to create a path around the fingers and around the edges of the cup. Just going to zoom in a little bit and we're going to create our path. I think I want the logo to go up to there. Just gonna zoom in a little bit. This is a bit more tricky. Okay, I just speed it up a little bit <laughs> to save us all some time. But you can see I have now created uh, the area where I want to get my logo in. Now the ne next thing I need to do is to make sure that this path gets selected. And you can easily do that by um, going here to the layers panel. And if you go to the right side, you'll see path, work path. So this is the one that I just created. And down there you see the little dotted circle and that's how you can that's where you can select the path. So if you click on that you see the selection. Now you have these running ants running over it. So it's selected. Um, now we're gonna go and um, go to new layers with these running ants still running around. And we're gonna create uh, a new layer over here, create new layer. Okay. And we're going to fill our running ends with white. So I have to make sure this one is on white. Okay. And I'm going to go to edit. Sorry, I'm going to do that here. Edit, fill. And we want to have the foreground color, that's good. See, there's also other options, but we have to make sure it's on foreground color. We have selected our white here already. Okay, so there we go. Now it's filled. Now I'm going to deselect the shape. We can do that by clicking on uh, Command D. There we go. 
Now we're going to go and press uh, V to go to the Move tool. You can also go here, over there, and click that one to have the Move tool on. We're going to select the top layer, that one that we just created. And we're going to go from Normal to, let me see, to Linear Burn. That's over here. And in that way, the shading and the, the reflection of the light is still clearly visible. So now we are ready to place our art on top of the photo. You can do that by going to File, Place Embedded, find the logo that you want to use, the design, Place. There we are. Now you can scale it. If you hold Shift and drag these points, you can make it bigger without changing the proportions. Pretty big. You probably won't see the whole logo because it goes to the other side. Okay. Press this tick or enter. And there we go. Now we've got it here. Now I'm going to create. Make sure you've got the logo selected. It's over here with a right mouse click. Sorry. Here. Um, Right mouse click, go to make sure you are on the right side of the layer, then go down and create a clipping mask. And now you can see it's within the shape that we created. Now I'm not happy about it yet, how it's placed, so I'm going to change it a bit. You can do that if it's still selected, pressing Command T. And now there's this transform box, so I can still change the logo. I'm going to hold Shift again. I'm going to make it a bit smaller and I'm going to move it. Just going to zoom out a little bit to see what's going on and how it looks. Is that being realistic? Make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Okay. Tick. Enter. Okay, we're there. Now there's one other thing that I want to do. I think I want to change the perspective a little bit. Same line as here. Command T. Just going to do it a little bit like that. Enter. Okay. Well, that looks pretty good to me. We can now adjust this layer uh, in the blending mode and maybe make normal multiplies of the good one. Yeah, and then I'm going to adjust the opacity a little bit. Just going to zoom out as well to see what it looks like. Oh, that's too light. That's always just playing around with it a little bit. Lighter maybe. Yeah, cool. And you can still see that light reflection in your logo, so that looks pretty good. It's behind the fingers. Okay. And there's one other thing that I want to do. Um, because we can create um, smart objects, and that makes it helps us if we want to reuse this photo later on with a different logo maybe it's really easy then to just swap the logos in here so we do that by going to our layer where the design is in go to the right side of that right mouse click and go to convert to smart object now you can see that this little icon thumbnail just changed it's now a smart object um, and that's really helpful because it now remembers the settings that we created. So, um, for example, when we want to change the logo, and let's give this a good clear name, so this is the logo. Okay. So if we double click on the little thumbnail here, you can see here that we use that logo. Now if we're going to place another one, so place embedded and let's see we want to use 
where is it? Yeah, black and white place. Just gonna hold shift and drag. Sorry, I'm just gonna hold to keep it on the same spot. Alt shift. It's easier. Okay, enter. I'm gonna hide the colored one. I don't need that now. Command S to save. Now you can see that there's another logo in there at the exact same spot. So I am done and it's time for you to get started. Don't forget uploading your final piece. We're very curious to see them. Till the next decks. Cheers.